there, my name is Iona Veyes and welcome to my channel. You want to subscribe so you can have access to all my content in one convenient place. Now, we all get busy with our daily lives, so you want to ring that notification button so you can be reminded of new content. Like and love my channel to help me grow. And be sure to leave a comment below if this video was helpful or if there's something you would like to see me do more of. So without any further delay, today's video will be about... So let's take a run through all the sketching equipment that you'll see. Starting off with a sturdy surface, I use a 1cm thick A3 masonite board. Next of course will be paper. You can buy a sketching pad, there are plenty of different brands at different prices. Or the cheaper version would be plain printer paper or recycled paper. Most paper, especially printer paper, has a tendency to go yellow. So when you do buy a sketch pad, look for one that is acid free. Pay attention to the tooth of the paper and what it is used for. For example, I like 200 tooth medium tooth paper as it covers multiple mediums. The heavier the paper, the more damage and water it can take. Fine tooth or hot pressed paper is mainly used for ink and pen or markers. Medium tooth or charcoal paper mainly used for charcoal, soft pastel, graphite and acrylic. Heavy tooth or cold pressed paper is mainly used for oil pastel and watercolor. Let's have a quick look at this. Next up we will need paper tape to secure down your paper. Let's have a quick look at the basic sketching sets you can get. There are hundreds of brands to choose from varying in price amounts of, and amounts of pieces. This is a cheap 13 piece set. First up is a light paper blending tool called a tortillion. Second up is a denser paper blending tool called a blending stump followed by graphite pencils in various densities, which I will explain shortly. This set only ha um, has four, but other sets may have more. This set comes with four hard pastels, terracotta and black, to be honest. Um, not an item that I use, but I will give it a go. Then we have our sanding block. This one is simple. Uh, the more expensive sets have it on a little board and is double sided with two types of sanding paper. Next up is the trusty sharpener. I really like that this set has a metal heavy duty sharpener with replaceable blade. The final item in this set is a flexible rubber eraser. I personally prefer the rubber eraser to the hard plastic one. Now that's a good kit to start with, but if you can find a kit with a knead eraser like this, even better. Um, it's very light on your paper, it picks up the graphite instead of spreading it around, and you can manipulate it to erase finer details. But if you don't do a kit, then the basics are as follows. Apart from your paper, you need your pencils. They come in different brands and sizes. You will notice that they have letters on them, B, H, and HB. HB is a combination of soft B and hard H pencils. They are most commonly used in school. Soft B pencils are darker, hard A pencils are lighter. I've added a pencil grading chart so you can see. I would suggest testing each pencil out to get the feel for them you might not want to use all. Apart from the paper and pencils, erasers is a must um, on your list. You get soft rubber, hard plastic, knead and wax cubes. Next up will be your sharpeners. Get a heavy duty one so that it can last you forever. The next item comes in very handy, a cutting tool or Stanley knife. I use it to cut my paper free from my hardboard instead of pulling the, off the tape risking tearing. I use it to create sharp edges on my pencil and very handy I use it to cut my erasers to create nice clean edges for those fine details like with fur and hair. Then we have the 
optional sanding block it's mainly used to get edges on your hard pencil collect graphite from your pencils as well as clean dirty erasers right let's talk blending tools Please don't use your finger as it leaves oils on your paper making it hard to erase, leaving your work smudgy. The tip of a blending stump can be used for finer erasing, where the side can be used for large surfaces. For something softer than the stump, you can use an earbud for the small surfaces. I love using this on canvas. Or you can use cotton wool for larger surfaces. Please note that the cotton wool can get stuck on rough surfaces. Then obviously the cheaper version would be tissue paper for your large surfaces and you can roll them up in a makeshift stump uh, for your finer little surfaces. Another optional extra would be whitening tools. White watercolor pencil works nicely. I find the waxy color pencil does not stick too well to the graphite. Correctional liquid is an all time favorite for most. Great for when your precision eraser cannot quite do it. Next up is something that most people don't expect, texturing tools. It can be anything that can create an indentation or a scar on the paper. I use a dotting tools, or a porcupine quill. It is absolutely amazing for wrinkles and hair, but you can use anything with an edge or a tip. It's also great when you want to indicate the direction or flow of fur. Finally, we have tools to help keep your artwork clean. So you're busy with an art piece, just doodling away and realize your work starts getting dirty. Well, this is why. Yes, we all know that. You can keep your work and your hand clean just by placing old scrap of paper under your palm. Keep your work smudge free and your whites whiter. When you erase your work or there's graphite on your paper, um, please don't use your hand. It can smudge the work you've worked so hard on and please don't blow it as you get small droplets on your paper. Rather use a soft brush or clean old makeup brush to dust away any unwanted particles, keeping your work clean. And that's that for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the process. Please leave a comment below if you liked it. Remember to subscribe for more content and ring that bell to get a reminder of new content. Guys, don't let anything hold you back in life. Just go ahead and do it anyway. And I will see you next Tuesday. Bye.